The well, first, well, well. The first person that's going on my Mount Rushmore <laughs> is one, Serena Williams. Hmm. Uh, 23 Grand Slam titles, most in the open era. Uh, she won the gold medals with her and her sister, singles gold medals. So I'm good with Serena being number one. Number two, I went with Michael Phelps. If you think of anything swimming, he's got to be the first name to come to your mind. So I went with him. Basketball, got to get one basketball on there. You know who that is. Go, James. Big G, big O, big A, big T. Wait, did you forget about that guy named Jordan? I, hold on, did I not tell you go, James? Hmm. Well, I thought you were just kidding about No, that. I'm not kidding. I mean, you're actually going to put him on Mount Rushmore? Mount Rushmore. Hmm. And last but not least, I went Tiger. Nobody was as dominant as Tiger. I understand he does not have the most majors. But no one is was more dominant. His peak was greater than anybody else's peak. I'll buy that. And, 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 and those early 2000s, when he had all four of the slams on his mantle, they were in his house. Nobody else had one. That's the greatest stretch of golf we've ever seen. Mm. I don't believe we're ever going to see it again. Uh, and so for me, that's where I went. Serena, Michael Phelps, LeBron, Tiger Woods. Okay. To reiterate, my Rushmore is Jordan and Brady and Ali <laughs> in the one we agree on, Tiger Woods. Just off yesterday, he just rose up <laughs> onto my Mount Rushmore. Now, I have a huge question for the Hall of Famer, Shannon yeah. Sharp. Your sport was called football. football. And on your Mount Rushmore, you have zero football I have players. I zero football players. And why is that, Mr. Sharp? Because I don't want no football players. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got to get some. Somebody else needs some love. Oh. Be, people think that's all we talk about. We, but we know tennis. We know uh, uh, track and field. I almost put Usain Bolt up there. Mm. We know swimming. We know a lot of things. I did get Tiger up there. Skip what you want me to do. It's the only one we agreed on was Tiger Woods. Yes. So you're going tennis, swimming, and golf. Yes. Okay. Three, in many people's eyes, minor sports, yes, right? Yes, yes, And then you go LeBron over Michael Jordan that most polls have as the greatest athlete ever. Well, they didn't take my poll. This is mm. my poll. Okay. And it if you keep, if I keep talking, I'm going to get a poll and hit him over the mm. head with it. Okay. LeBron James is the greatest basketball player. If he can do this, boom, 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 mm -hmm. dribble a basketball. If he can do that, shoot the basketball. If he can do this, if he can... Mm. It's Goat James. Mm. Michael Jordan, I'll say one more time, case closed, was the greatest competitor I ever saw and the greatest big game performer I ever saw, and it ain't even close. Six championships out of six finals with six MVPs. Game over. So Not for me. Okay. I, I appreciate your stubborn pride that you, you're sticking with it. When we were going to do this question, I was trying to guess who you put up there. And I knew LeBron would be number one on your list <laughs> because you got that. That is, you, 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 that, that was the flag that you yeah, planted yeah. from the start. Yeah, and, and and my guy's still going. You got to replant your flag. My guy's still as, going. As wrong headed as I mean, it think is. about this, Skip. I mean, we've been we've been following this man's career since 2000. Mm -hmm. It's 2022. Mm. Who else is? Who else? Did you know about Did you know about Tom Brady in high school? Mm. Did you know about Michael Jordan in high school? Serena was so good, she said, like, I don't even want to go to school. They give me a racket. Yep. And they drive it around in that old, that old van. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the dad said, hey, my girl's going to be the greatest tennis player. To, he said, that baby girl mm. going to be the greatest tennis player mm. to ever live. Mm. Okay. So as I guessed your list, I thought, well, maybe you'll go for your old quarterback in Denver because you got to put – football has to be a representative on Mount Rushmore. And I thought maybe you'll put number seven Actually, there. no, 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 no. If I'd have put a football player, but I'd have put Jerry. Jerry Rice. I'd put okay. Jerry Rice. All right. I was even thinking of Jim Brown. Maybe. No, no, no. I'd put Jerry. Okay, I, it, so. It's always a toss-up between me, okay. between Jerry and LT, but okay. I'd put Jerry. What do I always tell you about sports in general? The hardest position to play in all sports is called quarterback. Right. And it happens to be a position played in your sport of football. You cannot have a Rushmore without a quarterback, and you cannot have any Rushmore without the quarterback, the pro football GOAT, the Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr., who has won seven Super Bowls, and the first six came with game-winning drives in the fourth quarter or overtime. Well, Impossibly great. I, well, I'm going to ask you this, because when I say uh, uh, um, LeBron and, and game sevens, 
they say Michael Jordan never needed the game seven. Mm -hmm. So my question to you, why would Tom Brady need game-winning drives if he's what you said he is? He's so superior. He should have never had nobody. Should, he should have had to come back. Mm -hmm. So at some point in time, he was not doing what he was supposed to do or his team wouldn't have been behind. I'm just using your logic. Mm -hmm. I don't use that logic. Oh, yeah, you because do. Because all I know is he had to overcome a coach. Uh, not he overcome a coach. Uh, forced the locker room to near mutiny most of the time, a coach that a lot of players did not want to play for. They love him. A, a quote-unquote defensive genius who allowed Eli Manning to go 75 yards for a touchdown after Brady had done what he always does in Super Bowls with a game-winning drive with two minutes left. And Belichick spit the bit and allowed Eli Manning to beat Brady with a 75-yard, not a field goal drive, a touchdown drive. Well, you hold on. How can you defend I that? I mean, Tom Brady, Tom Brady got beat by, by team defensive teams that ain't got no Hall of Fame on them. Mm. Well, hold on, that that in Indy, that 2010 Super Bowl, what got going to the Hall of Fame mm. on that defense? You're talking about the second Eli. Yeah, the second Eli. Which Hall? Which guy? They, now they mm. did get one. They got straight in that first Super Bowl in they 2007. Mm -hmm. One Hall of Famer mm -hmm. took down the whole Brady. Mm -hmm. Y'all got y'all got y'all got a guy in the Super Bowl. Y'all yeah. got a Hall of Fame. Y'all got Randy. Y'all got Tom. Tom gonna be in the Actually, Hall of Fame. Actually, one non Hall of Famer took down Brady in that game, and he was about a five foot eight inch slot receiver named Wes Welker yeah, who but... failed to catch a, a ball. Oh, oh, so now you pulling the Gis Giselle. Huh. My husband can't throw and catch the ball. Really, Skip? You really gonna put that on Wes Welker? If your guy's what he said he is, hit the man in the chest, the eight and the three. Shannon Sharp would have caught that. That pass. ain't money. Wes Welker ain't Shannon if, Sharp. If Wes Welker catches that pass, See? we're having a different conversation. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. You you see? You see what you do? So, in other words, Tom Brady plays a dependent position also. Mm -hmm. So, he's dependent on his guys making plays. So, those game-winning drives are not solely Tom Brady. Mm. And also, two of those drives ended with what? On a Adam Vinatieri fo uh, foot. Mm -hmm. So, hold on. Wait a minute. So well, the truth was Tom Brady was mostly dependent upon an overrated coach whose it. defense <laughs> against Philadelphia allowed 41 points to the backup quarterback because mysteriously and still inexplicably, Belichick benched Malcolm Butler, who had played the most defensive snaps during the regular season for the entire Super Bowl game. I don't know why. Felt a little sabotage -y to me. Felt like Coach was pretty jealous of quarterback. Man, you know what, Skip, man. You know guess Coach what Belichick. The, guess what the quarterback did in that game? He broke the all-time playoff record with 505 passing, 505 and, yards. And, and what Put up 33 to? points on a top-five defense and lost because of his coach. What does that have to do? He, did he win? He should have won that one. No, he so he should have two more. He should have nine Super Bowls. Well, he should have lost. He should have lost the uh, the one to uh, Seattle. He should have lost that one. He should have lost the first one to the Rams, because mm -hmm. the Rams and the Rams and uh, um, uh, uh, Carolina mm -hmm. believe there was some shady business going yeah, on. Yeah, thanks to the coach. Yep. What would they call him? Bella Cheat? That would Yeah, that's what they call him. You know who gave him that name? Huh. Coach Hula. Oh, well, he did. Coach, he Coach called Shula him Bella Cheat. Well, Coach the great Shula. Don Shula called <laughs> he did, him Bella Cheat, right? That name. He did. And Absolutely to close did. my case on Tom Brady, all he did at age 43 was say, you know what? I'm going to go down there to Tampa and I'm going to take over the Suckineers with the worst winning percentage in the history of sports as a franchise, right. a team that went 7 and 9 the year before. I'm going to immediately transform them into a Super Bowl champion during a pandemic in which I can't even go in the park and throw to my new receivers. I can't play a single preseason game. I get thrown to the Wolves at New Orleans against our arch rival in my first ever game in a pandemic season, and I still live to tell about it with a Super Bowl championship at the end. Way to go, Mount Rushmore. No, nope. That is Crushmore is what nope, that is. And Shannon not Sharp. Me. A Brady hater mm -hmm. won't even allow Tom Brady uh, to me. see the light of play up on Re Mount uh, Rushmore? No, he's not going <laughs> on my Mount Rushmore. And my second Mount Rushmore is Richard Petty, Muhammad Ali, mm. Messi, and Usain Bolt. Mm. How could you not put the great Muhammad Ali up at the top? He, he, he was my idol growing up. He was my favorite, quote unquote, player in all of sports. Yeah, if you noticed, I didn't put any, any because I didn't let off the field, off the court, off the whatever. I didn't factor way, it at all. Way that way into my decision. Okay. Because the guys that's on Mount Rushmore, in the literal sense, 
if you look at what some of the things that they did, they ain't got no bit having their ass up there. Okay, fine. Well, I didn't do that either. <laughs> okay. One way or okay. the other. Okay. Like, for better or for worse. Any off-field... And you know why I put Serena up there? Mm. Until somebody win, until somebody wins a uh, champion, uh, uh, Super Bowl mm -hmm. or win a World Series, and they be, like, eight months pregnant, mm. Serena won the Australian Open. Pregnant. Mm. Okay. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.